The answer to what makes good barbecue varies depending on the cook method, the environment, and with the customer in mind. Good barbecue to someone in North Carolina may be completely different to what someone thinks from Auckland or Sydney. With personal tastes and preferences being so subjective, what makes good barbecue can only loosely be described no matter how hard you try and pinpoint the answer. What flavours, textures and ways of presenting the plate will all be factors no matter where you come from. Defining good barbecue for many people is nailing a balance of flavours and textures that complement the meat. Flavour variations, meats and specific cuts most definitely have better ways of being cooked than others, but the beauty of barbecue is that if the person eating it says it's good, it's good barbecue. Modern day authentic barbecue restaurants are the yardstick when it comes to producing what many would define as good barbecue. The dedication, the history, the universal appeal and variety of flavours and textures earn the tag of being one of the best in the business and producers of good barbecue. Rarely are two barbecue restaurants the same, with regional variations producing some old school barbecue, new school techniques and infuse flavours unlike anything you've experienced before. From the whole hog in the Carolinas to sweet and saucy ribs in Kansas, golden savoury ribs in Memphis or the Asian inspired flavour profiles becoming popular in some parts of Australia. Rarely will there be two areas producing the exact same recipes making it even harder to draw a line under what makes good barbecue. Competition barbecue calls for immaculate presentation, whilst home cooks are all about the textures and flavours, with the commercial barbecue being one of the hardest variations to nail day in and day out. The flavour profiles in Carolina are going to be what comes of direct cold cooking and, and pork related. And then of course in Texas we use indirect heat and beef. I think what links them all is a smoky, charry flavour. Uh, but I would say for me personally, incredibly rich, unctuous, smoky beef is the flavour profile that I associate most with barbecue. Um, you want some sweet and some spicy and a lot of stuff's what people are looking for, you know. Uh, you can run through any barbecue cook's spice cabinet and probably find some chili powder and garlic in there, you know, some cayenne. I know a lot of the cook-off guys like to put a little something special in each one to try to grab a judge's attention, but what we're doing in the restaurant side of it is to have it the same every time and to have it what that customer expects. So a great piece of barbecue is always going to have a great bark. I like my bark a little bit sweet, but let the fats do the sweetness. I don't induce any sugars or anything in my bar. It's always the fats and the salts combining that create that sweetness. You see the collagen all melted down and the structure of it, it holds up, yet it falls apart. Good barbecue to me is something that, uh, that just has the right amount of everything. You want to be able to taste the meat itself. You want to be able to taste the pork in the pork rib. You want to be able to taste the beef in the, in the brisket. Uh, to me, seasonings and rubs and sauces are just made to complement the piece of meat itself. Uh, you don't want nothing too salty or too sweet or too much of anything. You just want to kind of want to please a general palate. Uh, I think characteristics of good barbecue is it's more about attention to detail. It's more about love and, and the time that you take to prepare this piece of meat. Anybody can throw some seasoning and put it on a smoker. What sets somebody apart is the time and detail and the attention that they're going to put into that meat before it goes on the smoker. Barbecue apart is, is the preparation. It's preparing it, getting it to where you need it to be at the end result, and uh, time, time, time and love. Good barbecue, I believe it's about quality in equals quality out. So always try and start with the best meat you can. 
And then I reckon it's um, just flavours, simple flavours. Let the meat speak for itself. Good barbecue to me is, uh, is simple. So I don't want to taste, you know, all these other different flavours and sauces and rubs. I really want to taste good quality meat. Um, I'm a huge beef fan, so I, and I want to, if I taste a bit of beef or a steak or a brisket, I really want to be able to taste the beef. Oh, first of all, it's got to be moist. Um, yeah, I like a good bark and, and good flavour, but, but I'm not into any spicy, so just, it's just smooth, smooth flavour with moisture. Uh, barbecue to me is, I guess, looking for that uh, good bark, good salty crust. Um, and then once you get through that crust, it's about that, you know, really tender meat. As tender as you can get it without it um, just being mush. But, you know, it's that sweet spot. Salty texture on the outside, nice, dark, crusty bark, but then that moist meat on the inside. But uh, what makes a great barbecue is, a, is the combination of a good protein, a perfectly paired matched rub, and then a patience with the smoke, kissing it with that smoke, those gelatinous the flavours when you first take that bite, that's what makes good barbecue. Nothing less than passion, love of the process, a perfect balance of taste, tenderness and presentation can deliver the perfect barbecue bite no matter what the audience. Great barbecue is love. And love is defined as attention to detail. I think it's just an understanding that every piece of meat is like a single child. It has its own personality. And beef-centric barbecue is all shooting for is this very tight bullseye. And it doesn't matter what part of the world you're shooting from, it all seems to coalesce around this one idea of what it's supposed to be. And it's being brought in by multiple sources, not just here, but from everywhere. And they all sort of coalesce to this one thing. It needs to look like this, it needs to feel like this, and then it needs a taste within this sort of variant. But it needs to have these qualities. Understand those. Join our series in discovering the world of barbecue. Experience competition barbecue, and we get all the tips on how to get started. Subscribe to our series, share and hashtag Beyond the Flame.